listen to the nature around you children? Yes, you can hear so many music, so much of music in the nature around us, not only in the morning but also at night. So what does it mean? The music of the earth or the music of nature never ends. We are going to learn a poem on the grasshopper and cricket written by John Keats. John Keats is one of the famous, was one of the famous English romantic poet. John Keats had only lived up to the age of 25. He has written many sonnets, odes and epics. A sonnet is a poem of 14 lines. On the grasshopper and cricket is a poem of 14 lines with one octet 8 lines and one cystet 6 lines. On the grasshopper and cricket The poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown mead. That is the grasshopper's. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights, for when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. On a lone winter evening, when the frost has wrought a silence from the the shells, the cricket's song, in warmth increasing ever, and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. In the afternoon, when all the birds get tired of singing, they take some rest in the shadows of trees. At that time, the grasshopper that takes the lead, it leads the music, and it will be sitting under a needle, a knee. I mean, it will be sitting under a grass. Like that, in the night time, when every bird it is silent, who takes the lead? The cricket takes the lead. So the poet sees that in the morning, the grasshopper takes the lead and makes its song ring all over. Whereas at night, don't worry, it would be the cricket taking the lead. It would go on singing at night, making the shrill music. Whereas it will, you know, those who are sleeping, they will think those who are in a drowsiness, they will feel that it is actually the grasshopper that is making but it will be actually the cricket. So that is what the poem means on the grasshopper and the cricket. It just, or the poet just wants us to tell that the poetry of earth never ceases, never stops. It goes on, it goes on. Sometimes the birds take the lead, sometimes the grasshopper take the lead, sometimes the cricket take the lead, but the poetry of the earth never stops. It goes on continuously, it goes on continuously. Such a wonderful poem written by John Keats. Hope you understood the poem children. Thank you.